Hey Spiritual Superstar, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and we help you hear from the divine and master your spiritual gifts. This is the Pisces Full Moon Energy, and let's dive right in because I'm already receiving many downloads, and guess what? You will be too. So Spirit's saying pay attention, but also seek understanding. So type in your 1111s, the opening of the spirit realm, and raise your vibration. Let it out. Let the unfolding begin. I feel like Spirit is saying, first of all, pay attention to your spiritual gifts. Pay attention to your spiritual sight. You are going to be receiving your spiritual guidance in ways that will actually be formulating a plan. You are going to need to write this down. I need you to hear from me is what Spirit is saying. I need you to hear from me and I need you to understand me. See, you had to go through all of that down here in order to grow. And now you're being nourished in, from the divine. And it's because when we move towards the Virgo new moon, that's when you're planting these seeds. So this is the beginning stage of many of your plan B. This is the beginning of that bountiful harvest. Because harvest, you definitely will. So remember, we are following our spiritual gifts. We are following our spiritual guidance. We are following our spirit guides. And we are certainly deepening our spirituality. Okay, so remember this. The Pisces full moon energy is telling you I'm preparing you for that harvest okay so you are pregnant with this bounty that you are going to give birth to so it's going to be a laborious um uh vulnerable it's going to be painful very emotional but it's for a reason we don't go through um, we don't give birth without labor, and those labor pains are for real, for real. And so whether who you are, male, female, doesn't matter if you have um, human babies, fur babies, doesn't matter if you don't have any babies right now. What matters is you are birthing your next project. This is business, right? Virgo new moon energy that's coming in after the full moon and Pisces is all about plant those seeds for a bountiful, bountiful harvest of abundance. And honey, you are doing just that, okay? So when your ancestors start coming on in, listen to what they're saying but also hear, okay, and understand, not just listen, but really hear what they're saying so that you can understand where you're supposed to be going because you're, you've got your blueprint. So I need you to write this down, get your journal, and participate in where you're going, okay? Here we go. You ready? Surrender to... The divine, all right? Surrender to divine source. God is telling you, surrender to me. Hear me, listen to me, because this is the full moon in Pisces energy. And Spirit is saying, listen to me. I feel like many of you are going to be hearing from Christ Jesus. I feel like, in just a minute, no, now, okay. And I, I feel like, when you receive those words of compassion, say it to that person. And when you when you are receiving those words of forgiveness, forgive yourself first, okay? So really be on purpose in this reflective energy because the downloads are going to be plentiful. 
and your spirit guides are your ancestors, are your ascended loved ones, are our angels, our our uh, nature. You are gonna really be receiving from divine source, our messengers of God. You are really going to be in the flow, and it is so important that you not only hear, listen, but you understand. Because in our love life, you have connected. We know that this energy is all about soulmates and twin flame energy. But also, here's the twist. I feel like many of you are understanding that, you know, there's a different strategy. There is a plan that is really pulling you to that commitment that you really want. And I feel like... Some of you know that that person that you've been crushing on, that maybe even other readers, I'm you know, not talking about anybody. I want to maybe be very clear about that. But I believe that some other readers have told you this person is the one. And you know that you have never talked to this person. You know that you have never even heard from this person. And you know that this person on the other side of that has told you, I don't want to have anything to do with you. And you know their behavior is showing you they don't want to have anything to do with you. They are either beneath you or they're not meant for you. But you have this longing to be with them because someone else told you and confirmed your desire. But that doesn't mean that's what you need, okay? So I know that that cut a lot of people deeply. And no, not everybody's going to like that. And, um, you know, that's the tough part of of receiving and saying exactly what spirit wants me to say but it's for a reason this pisces full moon is telling you honor your emotions you are in control of your emotions okay i want you to say this with me i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul you own it. Your emotions are in control. When they are not in control, that's when all the chaos happens, right? And so Spirit is saying, now it's going to be emotional download city. And I need you to hear from me to get you where you want to be. Right? That's what Spirit is saying to you. Hear, listen to me, and understand me, okay? Seek that wisdom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Knowledge and wisdom. Thank you so much. Because it's going to give you that love that you truly desire. It's going to give you the wealth that you truly desire. And you want that You want that generational wealth that will keep on coming every single month. Mark off September 17th, 2020 because you are going to be in the know. Mark that on your date. Save that date. At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 17th. Mark it down now because you definitely are going to want to be there. Okay? And I'll put the information um, down in the comment section. But make sure you want to be there. Mark that off. So, you know, luck is on our side. Blessings are on our side. We are getting ready to harvest something really bountiful right now thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much notice the signs of spiritual superstar notice where spirit is sending you okay um thank you so much thank you so much when you hear when you hear from the divine the divine source is telling you which way to go for your life purpose your calling all right, this is we're leading up to the Virgo new moon. That's our work day. Um, pour it in, whatever we're we're doing on a daily basis. It's that effort. So right now, what is getting on our nerves? What is uh, going against what we really desire? What's healthiest for us? We're going to be receiving that, and you're in a in awakening. And that theme is going to be pretty clear right about now. Goodness gracious. Okay. Look at that. My goodness. Notice those signs. Notice the signs, spiritual superstar. You are on your journey, okay? And you got to commit to it. 
Notice the signs. Notice the signs. Notice the signs. Commit to it. Without equivocation is what I'm hearing. Notice the signs. Notice the signs. Notice the signs. Okay? This is definitely true love. This is definitely true love. And I do believe many of you are going to see who is assigned to you. So that person that you've been crushing on and that you're just in love with, you want to get back with, you want to be with, and everything, like eight or nine points out of the ten, are telling you, nope, this is not a go. But that one point is there, which is, your emotions. Take your emotions out of it now. And this is the tough part. This is that full moon energy of doing that work to really see the reality of it so that when the verbal new moon comes, you can be in an empowered position of, I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. Thank you so much. Because I do believe that Spirit is, in t is pulling you towards your life partner. And the people that have come and gone, I d don't get confused about you feeling like I'm too old to meet somebody. I'm too old to have children. I'm too old to get married. No, you're not. Whoa. No, you're not. You are not too old to get married. You are not too old to have the desires of your heart fulfilled. But you certainly do need to look deeper. You certainly do need to learn that lesson that Spirit has been telling you is there for you to learn because that person is not for you. Now I know that some other reader told you they were. And I'm not here to, you know, refute that. I'm just here to show you what Spirit is telling you so that you can receive it. That person is either seeing somebody else or they've already shown you in some way, shape, or form that they don't want to be with you where you're going. Their, their energy is not allowed to go where you're going. And so they're, 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 they're resisting you. But you're going in. You're chasing Spirit doesn't want you to chase them. Spirit does not want you to chase them. Slow it down. All right? Coupled up. Spend time together. Stop the fussing. Just, you don't even have to talk when you're spending time together. Just get on out there and spend time together. My single spiritual superstars out there, listen to your body. What has your body been saying to you? The stress points, the pressure points, all of that. Okay, this is a tough reading. I'm so I'm so sorry for anyone that's not understanding, but that's the whole point of this Pisces full moon energy is to really listen, hear it for what it is, and then seek understanding because that's that's a whole nother it's an action. On this full moon energy okay this is full moon energy we've seen that confirmation that this is the Pisces full moon energy and we still are saying you know what I'm either going to surrender to the divine or I'm not and spirit is telling you surrender to me let go to me let me take over and when we do that we make a purposeful step forward it's called a leap of faith we feed faith and honey um I don't care what anyone else told you now. Oh, I know that I'm stepping on some toes. Oh, my goodness. What anyone else told you about this one that's not for you, because it keeps coming up, they're not for you. They are not for you. And Spirit is saying all of those eight points that you're looking at that are not there, they won't spend time with you, not on the holiday. They haven't checked on you during the pandemic. You keep reaching out to them. They don't want to talk to you. They might talk to you because they're bored. 
you know that they're online, they're not messaging you. They're not calling or texting or returning your calls or your texts or messages or anything like that. They're living their life, they're having fun, and you still can't get a hold of them. Or this person's coming over for you know what, and that's it. That's not what spirit wants for you, okay? On the other side of that, if you're crushing on somebody and um, you know that they're with somebody else or you know you need to be focusing on school and not a relationship, you need to be focused on building your business and not um, a relationship or being responsible for somebody else, that relationship is forbidden right now. Some of y'all are supposed to be celibate. Some of you are supposed to be abstinent. But Spirit is saying, hold up. Slow it down. Okay? Before you try to do it your way, pause. Just pause for a minute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Ooh, we got another, uh, some more on the love life. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Pisces full moon energy. And this is 72 hours before, 72 hours thereafter. All right, honor your needs. Focus on your needs. That breakup is temporary. All right, it is minor. Meaning there's someone else coming into the picture you need to work on yourself, learn that lesson. Look at for look at this for what they it needs to be looked at as, okay? Sometimes you can't go further because you still need to change your perspective and really see that they don't want to be with you. I know that hurts. I've been there. And I know what that feeling is like. It's extremely, excruciatingly painful to know that someone doesn't want to be with you the way that you want to be with them. But here's the truth. Spirit is moving them out of your life because they are in the way of the one that Spirit has. For you they are moving this one out of the way because you are unable to do it yourself so spirit is saying I need you to listen to me and understand me why I'm doing this okay so honor your needs take care of you right now it is healthy for you to look out for yourself right now. Okay, you deserve that. Thank you so much. Please show me. Thank you so much. Okay, now we can go over to business. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Pisces, um, this is in Pisces full moon. Pisces full This is everybody. Um, this is Pisces full moon, Pisces energy. So in business, this is emotional overload. Be careful. Be careful about the way you express yourself. Be careful about the way you express yourself in front of other people because then they're going to be uh, acting like you don't. Oh, my gosh. Woo. They're going to be ready to take advantage, ready to judge you, ready to criticize you, ready to call you um, incapable of doing the job, um, not mature enough uh, to handle the accounts. Um, if you go for interviewing, be careful about that because when you are not mastering your emotions, it comes out as being unable to have emotional intelligence and uh, not wise enough to handle um, social socializing in the workplace. All right, so here it is. Remember when the grouse does the uh, mating dance, it is attractive, but they're doing their own thing. 
they're beating to their own drum, okay? Beating to their own drum. Being unique. All right, they are not, let me see there. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. They are not loyal to more than one. They are listening to our Creator, and they're loyal to our Creator. All right, so that's what you're going to be doing. Remember that. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Okay? Not everybody else is the master of your fate. Don't give them permission to be. All right, so again, it's time for you to strike out. All right? And start your own business. It's time for you to start that plan B. Save the date, September 17th, 2020. Save that date, okay? You are going to be glad you did. You're going to be so happy you did. Uh, we are blessed to have the financial expert. I won't even tell you her name, but she is going to bless you with a strategy on top of strategies to create generational wealth. And I mean, you are going to be happy you made it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. September 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, because you got to get started now. If you don't know, now you know that you're going to get your 2021 planned out in this last quarter, typically in October, but we're doing it early now because we want to give you the best footing forward, your best ability to succeed and take your life back in 2021, okay? Thank you so much. This Pisces full moon energy is giving you the plan. Woo! Goodness. Woo! Oh, goodness, honey. The plan to take your life back. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Are you ready for this? Honey. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let me just, I'm always going to be honest with you. Spiritual superstars, it's going to be a doozy, okay? For your business, you, the judgment is in. That decision is made. Um, You need to just go on with it. Stop going back and forth with this thing right here. Okay, don't dance with this. Shut this down. Okay, stop trying to serve too many people. Don't be a people pleaser. That's what Spirit is telling you with the cat and the dog. Who are you loyal to? Spirit is saying, you be loyal to me. Be loyal to me. Let me guide you. Let me help you plan that strategy. You know? And that judgment, man, you got to make that choice. This is your life mission. This is your soulmate. This is big. And so some of you are on the fence about what to let go of, who to let go, um, what geographical location, what um, house, what apartment, what living situation, which to let go. But that judgment has already been made. That, seat, that lease has already been severed. That job has already been done. It's already, the paperwork has already been signed off, okay? And... Um, it's coming in. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. This is a full moon release in Pisces energy. And it's going to be super duper emotional. And that's why Spirit showed us from the start. Surrender to me. Surrender to the divine. Don't be serving everybody else. Serve me is what divine source is saying. I nourish you. Not them. I feed you, not them. Let me tell you something. You have got to walk away from this thing right here. The deception, the deceit, the sorrow, the pain. Okay? The I could care less about you person. The sure, we can have you know what, but I'm not going to commit to you. Relationship. 
I don't even know what that is. But give me, let me hold twenty dollars. I need help paying my rent. Yeah, you come over tonight, but you gotta be gone by two o'clock in the morning. What? No, we don't need none of that. And this thing right here, being the one that always gives up all of your time to everybody else, best friends, the group of friends, family, you being the one to bail people out, you being the one to go run errands. For my young ones out there, watch the people you keep company with. Watch the deceit that happens around you. Separate yourself from them the best that you can, all right? Meaning people are around you with not right intentions. Do not be around them by yourself, okay? Because there is some not right energy here that uh, I don't want this tower coming down to be anything that you have to deal with that is going to hurt you any more than this this full moon energy is is showing okay it's because first of all you deserve to be treated like the queen that you are and the king that you are and so spirit is saying balance it out okay look out for that anomaly but with this you're seeing you know where you have not been treated as a queen where you have not been treated as a king you deserve to be royalty. And this is in your circumstances. This is in your day, your your house, your work. This is in your every day, your movement. So um, you're, you, you are supposed to be treated like that. And where you're not treated like that is because of this person right here. Is because of not slowing down and heeding the signs. What was Spirit saying to you? Notice the signs. Notice the signs, notice the signs, notice, notice the signs from our spiritual guides, our spiritual team. And then, you know, right here, this is it. This is what you're moving towards, that new step, that new foundation, that new school, that new job, that new circumstance, that new ability to work from home, that new resource to create generational wealth. Wow, did my fingers just line right up? Yes, they did. Notice the signs. September 17th, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here we go. Thank you so much. All right, we've got our ending guidance here. Okay, I hear one more. Tell them that they need to hear from me. I'll watch you while you sleep. If that doesn't give you peace of mind, Divine Source is watching you while you sleep because you are mine, because you are His. You belong to our Creator, and our Creator watches over you, has you covered, body, every bit of you, your soul, every bit of you is covered. You the soul. Your human is covered. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know, I just, I, I, oh, I love that. And Spirit is just saying that I watch over you. I see you in your sleep. I want you to rise with me. I see you tossing and turning in your sleep. Do you not notice me? Do you not see me? I reach out to you, yet you act like you don't know me. Mm. Notice the signs. When spirit talks to you, it will feel undeniably true. Oh, my goodness. We are birthing it into existence, spiritual superstar. This is a rebirth. This is a rebirth, okay? This is a rebirth. You know, what's magical about this is uh, the spring uh, equinox is around the birthing of the Pisces energy. 
And uh, this is so uh, Virgo energy right here. So usually it would be the Virgo full moon, Pisces new moon energy. And we've got that opposite energy right here, which is absolutely phenomenal. Remember that this is, it is time. It is so time. And and to, to know that spirit is watching over you while you sleep really, really should give you comfort. I pray that it does because it just gives me that type of a, um, exhale. Makes me feel so at peace. All right, so I'm just looking at surrender to the divine. The very word climax. Remember, this was that energy with the full moon. Pisces full moon energy, okay? The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind, agreed? But it really is the feeling of this energy. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change, and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune in to your emotions. Where did we see that energy? We know we saw that one of them fell, so maybe it was it was that. Tune in to your emotions. Okay, so we are reflecting, right? And we are mastering our emotions now. Right? See what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface no matter when in the moon cycle this happens. When it is the full moon, you will feel it the most. Matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true or your intuition is attuned. The odds are in your favor as this is a positive energy, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as event, events unfold. Now, what was the first thing that Spirit said to you about unfolding? I have to look back in the beginning of our spiritual guidance because that word I remember, unfolding, something like this is an unfoldment or let the unfoldment begin. There was something like that because I remember the vision, but I don't remember what spirit had me channel and say. Right? Am I getting the answers I need? Attune to the moon. I'm the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. You may need to forgive someone to release negative energy. It's time to let go of the past and move on. This is make it or break it time. And there could be a sense of emotional madness in the air. Breathe deep and stay calm. All right, here is our parting spiritual guidance, spiritual superstars for the Pisces full moon energy. What an emotional energy. Please don't forget, you've got your life purpose coming in through your spiritual guidance. Uh, one thing that I have always said is I... Divine Source, please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. And when you're at a crossroads, okay, spiritual superstars, you want to be able to say that crossroads, express it, and let the universe hear you express it verbally. That way your, your frequency is being picked up. Your vibration is going all the way out and the universe is picking it up and pulling it back and bringing it back to you transformed, okay? So you will hear the answer of your prayers and it will be your soul desire. The most powerful law in the universe. We've got 11 here. This is karma. I know a beautiful woman named karma. So amazing. Thank you so much. So every thought vibrates. Every thought radiates a signal. 
and every thought attracts a matching signal back. Just what Spirit just said, right? We call that process the law of attraction. The law of attraction says that which is like unto itself is drawn. All right, spiritual superstars, my goodness. Save the date, September 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be something that you will definitely want to be a part of. We are going to teach you how to take your life back with financial experts with I won't let all the cat out of the whole cat out of the bag but you definitely want to make sure you save that date and if you are in a different time zone you can't make it for whatever reason guess what you're going to be able to get the replay so there will be a replay that you can um, get and access immediately as soon as the recording is up and play that thing over and over and over because we are helping you take your life back in 2021. Many people were hit by this pandemic in so many different ways. Oh my goodness, devastated. Financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Their family, many families have but just ascended on over this pandemic and the way it was handled. Take your life back in 2021. I'm talking to you. If you believe that you can't be a millionaire, if you believe that you can't be a part of the 1%, well, let me tell you that you can be, okay? And I'm going to be showing you proof of that. There's only so much that I could say out in a public setting, okay? This is not information that we can share publicly. Uh, we can share it one-on-one -on -one, uh, because it is exclusive information. And I could tell you this, that I'm living proof that the nuggets that you will be in front of on September 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time work. All right, spiritual superstars, thank you so very much. This is the Pisces full moon spiritual guidance, and I pray that you have received value today. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and come on back for more spiritual guidance. I'll talk to you soon. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and be blessed. I love you. Mwah.